Girl, you should know how he moves. That's my business. Uh Since when? Since when it ain't nobody's business? Straight related girl from Runaway. We have culture, conversation, and community. In today's video, I am coming to you all with a One More Chance Zeus Network season two episode. I don't know. It's called this episode is called Just Me, You, Her, and Her, or something along those lines. And let's just hop right into it. The episode kicks off with Micah, or maybe it was Chance, like pulling up to this beautiful estate. Very, very nice. All I gotta say is, what Fat Joe say? The price just went up. Okay, Zeus Network, I see you and your budget working. Micah and Chance reflected the elimination at the stable. You know, he said it was a lot for the girls to have to do eliminations at the stable. Like, really, was it? Was it a lot for them? He goes on to mention that, you know, the first house was tore up. It was a whole bunch of bad energy in there. And he had to get the girls into a better environment. He wants to, you know, bring them to paradise and show them how much, you know, he appreciates them. And I'm like, finally, we get to see some one-on-one -on -one time because that's what we've been dying to see. You feel me? And the next thing we have, the girls getting picked up. They're all excited. This time their courier van is, you know, upgraded and elevated. It looked like they was really on a party bus. So, you know, the girls are talking, just reflecting, kind of getting along. It's only four of them. Yodala is like, finally, I get to be on some romantic shit with my man. Like, Yodala, since when? They're all kind of curious to, like, where they're going to be at. And then, like, bad and bougie was like well i remember him saying something about beachfront and i'm like okay look at better bougie she can actually listen to what's going on you feel what i'm saying and yodala was like oh yeah i do remember hearing about that yodala is excited again she's like you know i get to be on some romantic shit you know maybe he'll give us some massages they're all laughing and joking like no one chance he'll probably be the one that wants us to massage him they start talking about how they can relax and you know do some dancing and yodala's chimes in like girl you know chance ain't got no rhythm that man cannot dance and it really seems like she really knows chance and they have like their own little chemistry but in a little pocket of that bad and bougie was like oh well slim you uh not slim girl soldier girl tell us do he really do he really have rhythm can he really dance i know you know pretty much just asks how is it and she's like that's our business you ain't gotta worry about that and then i'm just like soldier girl since when has been y'all since y'all business after he done told you to say it multiple times on camera that y'all screwing make it make sense girl the math ain't mathing um yodala kind of like she made a little face a little bit bad and bougie was just looking with her little her little grin that she does with her tight forehead or whatever so uh roly makes the comment like girl i know that's right because if if he was getting in this pussy it would be nobody's business nobody even be here you feel me so they ended up going to the house he and chances coming to the door like somebody's knocking he's like who's at my door girl you know it's them answer the door they come through the door they're all they all look excited you can see like the gleefulness in their faces the first person to go into the room is roly and her room looks good and i'm like why are these girls acting like this is real housewives of atlanta if y'all y'all just came from sharing bunk beds <laughs> okay like stop it roly is like okay this is cute fit for a queen and roly did have the best room i'm not gonna lie she reads a little you know typed up letter that one of one of the zeus's production team put together you know what i mean chance was so happy i wrote them all a letter like chance stop it she opens up the letter reads it oh first she was like this shirt is a size small i don't know why he trying to play i guess they were just looking for some again comedy that roly poly always provides for us a lot of people are saying that roly might get her own show that'd be cute i would like to see a roly looking for love type of you know roll of dice i don't know how they would market it or promote it but roly's interesting and i would like to see some men who actually are interested in bbws and not like her trying to throw himself on a man that obviously doesn't want you roly is basically like okay so i'm gonna be his dessert so basically i'm going last we ain't surprised so your girl's next she goes into her room and she's looking like you know all excited she looks so reread to me that's offensive. I shouldn't say that. But that's a throwback. Y'all know what I'm saying. And she talks so slow. She goes in there. She puts on her style in there. Shirt. I'm like, I know that's right. You better represent your man. Them little $50 shirts he over there peddling. She put her shirt on. She reads her letter like, okay, Chance, I can't wait to spend some time with you. Yodala goes in the room and immediately she doesn't like the room. Oh no, this is, we go, I don't like this. Good afternoon, Yodala. I hope you can make some time for your boy because I want you to join me for lunch. Love, Chance. It's like, Yodala, stop, girl, again. Very much Real Housewives of Atlanta. Y'all y'all lucky this is the first time Chance actually decided to put a nice little lodging, hotel lodging into the budget, okay? 
Um, girl, I'm, I'm popping shit today. Melissa says she's excited for the one-on-one -on -one time because, you know, it's been a whole bunch of chicks just in the way of them spending time together. And next thing we have Bad and Bougie going into her room. And she's like, this is definitely not bad and bougie. I don't know if it's tighter than my pussy, but it's real tight. Shit. Oh, I got a note. Perfect. Like, oh my God, her she is dragging her name, girl. Like, if they named her Ghetto and Ratchet, I wonder if she would, like, take on that persona because she is really, like, dragging this bad and bougie and the way that she talks and she, everything is slow. And I get it, sis. I get it, but, like... <laughs> anyway he's meeting her first and she she's like you know what they say about breakfast you know we set the tone of the day like girl okay and next thing we have some cute little tiktok transitions girl i'm like okay zeus editing team the videographers y'all putting it together it's like no them transitions were cute that's different you know i noticed the little small details like that we appreciate the quality okay and it was ghetto fabulous like we like it bad and bougie comes on and she looks great you know, the girl looks good. She's she's done up. She's made up. You know, she got on a little lingerie. She got a little tight face. And she's walking over to him. She's giving him a massage. And, you know, uh, Chance is liking it and enjoying it. They obviously have chemistry. He obviously is, is attracted to this woman. She brought him a gift, which I thought was interesting and cool and cute. And it's a way to market her own little products. Because on her Instagram bio, she's selling those same socks and underwear. It's like... You know, I bought you something special, baby. Like, it's a picture of her face, like, on the boxers or whatever the case is. She sells them in real life, so I thought that was very smart of her, okay? Then she came with another gift. It was basically some fruit and some whipped cream. They put the whipped cream on it. They eat the fruit together. I thought that was cute. And then, like, she just gives me very much, like, old school, like, sex phone operator. Like, you know what they say? The breakfast can become lunch, can become dinner. And then don't forget, I'll be back for the midnight snack. Like, girl, you do a lot. And I like it. I'm here for a lot. But it's just, it just got on my nerve this episode. I paid attention to more, like, the way she speaks and her cadence, her voice. She doesn't necessarily have, like, a vocal fry. Like, oh, my God. Like, that, uh, like that, Car Cat, that Kardashian thing. But like, I don't know, it's something about her voice. I'm not, I'm not into it. Well, Chance is talking to her like, what separates you from the other girls? And she's like, well, I'm an asset. I got my own thing. I want, I want a family. Whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. This is doubtful. Chance doesn't believe that she wants to start a family. I'm like, girl, Chance, why not? You already started your family. You got a family of four kids and an ex-wife. Stop it. She's like, well, what do you want? I love that. Like, ask him what does he want in a woman? You get what I'm saying? You out here chasing whatever you chasing. What do you want? And he's just like, well, I'm just tired of people using me and I want something more stable. But you don't go after stable chance. You go after opportunist. So what what are you really giving? I can see how I can be tired of like people using him for his little platform and his little whatever. Because even if these chicks are coming on here with millions of followers, 500,000 followers, 10,000 followers, when you are put on a platform that's a TV network or whatever the case, a streaming network, it just elevates you, period. Whatever, you, whatever you're selling, your sales are doubling. Whatever you're getting for Instagram posts, those fees are doubling. Like, it just puts you onto a different level. So, basically, after all of this little whatever they were doing, um, Bad and Bougie goes off to start spilling the beans. She says, Soldier Boy still live with her baby daddy. Um... <laughs> Yoda look out a vacation plan. She ain't even mentioned Roly. I don't even know. I guess he ain't even. She ain't even mentioned Roly because we all know how that's going to end. But they end their little situation. It was nice. Next up we have is Yoda and Chance, and she comes in, gives him that little, you know, I ain't seen my relatives at Christmas kind of hug. Hey, how you doing? And this, that, and the third, and they start talking. They have like a very forced chemistry. Yoda is a prime example of not having to do anything and just using her pretty privilege because, like, clearly, sis. You're not into this man. And you're just there because, you know, the fans love you. You're pretty to look at. You're easy to look at. And she's just, you know, getting skating her way along. Because what is she really doing? What does she really bring? I don't know. She did good in the in a boxing match. That was cool. And that was entertaining. But, like, Yola has not been a standout to me. And what I mean by that is, it's not that she doesn't stand out. But, like, Slim was a big part of the conversation. The twins were a big part of the conversation. Bad and Bougie was a big part of this conversation for the series. But like, Yodala was not. You get what I'm saying? And that's what I mean by stand out. Plus, as you had too many girls all over you, you was too willy nilly. He's like, I don't know, willy nilly. They have a very cute, friendly sister 
brother type of vibe they don't give me i'm interested in you sexually type of vibe she she fixed tell him to pray over the food which you know you want a woman of value but yodela please chance please carisha please okay <laughs> she makes a point of just saying just because somebody throwing it at you don't mean you need to catch it he's like well, why are you worried about it and da, 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 da. you worried about what's going around you need to be hanging around me and this that and the third chance says this is the second go around with you and i still feel like you know we are not connecting the way that we need to and she's like i know i'm gonna i'm gonna step it up she always gives him some nice cute kisses at the end of it some kisses to still do after that, he meets up with Soulja Girl. I like Soulja Girl's dress. She looked, she looked really cute. Those eyes, those eyes are just set so far apart from each other. She looks good. They talked about the whole baby daddy situation. She's in a confessional. Like, I don't know why he's coming at me because he has children too. Four of them. Like, stop it. But she pretty much denies everything that bad and bougie said because she's like i don't even talk to bad and bougie but if y'all pay attention to the body language if you pay attention to the body language miss mamas is lying it ends real cute like oh i'm gonna come back to your room and give you a massage tonight that same massage she be doing with that thing she got <laughs> y'all i'm tired today happy monday roly poly snacks meals and give me this video a thumbs up this is the first time i called roly poly snacks meals by her full tv given name okay since i've been reviewing the show um make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel y'all subscribe to the channel it's free thank you sis and so anyway roly poly shows and she got on her little uh stripper outfit it was cute her she never has the proper support for her ninnies i hate that for her but um even if she were to get the tape girl let me stop okay so he comes in he all tired he don't even want to look he don't want to look up i'm like girl that's the bait y'all ever fake sleep so you ain't got to interact with people that's what it was giving so he's like oh you sleepy da, 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 da. so he's she's like oh come over i'm gonna pull you up i'm doing it soft and she she's trying to show her softer more elegant more feminine that's what i'm looking for child Whew more feminine side and chance is a clown he's a clown with everybody but because he's not really attracted to her it just comes off as extra clownery um he's trying to butter her up like calling her sparkles and she's like who's sparkles no i'm roly-poly snacks and i was like girl relax she's trying to be cute with you you can't even do that like relax sis so roly poly snacks mill does her little famous banana trick okay that we've seen her do on instagram live before and she's like using the banana as simulating what she would do to his actual peen it was cute and then he's hitting the weed i'm going to sleep and at the end of the episode he concludes that it's too much going on he, he doesn't want to do any eliminations tonight we're going to let the girls get their one night in and even though we're going to see the episode next week it's literally the next day where he's going to do eliminations and he's going to be eliminating two of the girls and it's going to be down to the bottom two i can say it right now it's probably going to be bad and bougie and soldier girl bad and bougie and soldier girl that's my vote let me know in the comment section who y'all think the bottom two are going to be i don't think yola is gonna i don't i don't think he gonna see it for yola i don't i don't i don't not to say anything against her but they didn't have any real connection he's feeling the connection obviously with slim and he's feeling the connection obviously with bad and bougie like yoda ain't pressing that hard which you know guys like that most guys but we know we dealing with chance so he's gonna go for the ones that's throwing it at him make sure you guys subscribe and hit the like button because it helped me on this youtube algorithm as always i'm sending you much love and much light and i will see you in the next video peace